My name is Felipe, aka Felipe the Barber, and I have grown my barbering career to over 500 recurring clients and a brand new barber shop in New York City in just three years. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification button just so you know when I drop a new video. Also, to get some daily tips and some amazing haircut photos, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Felipe.TheBarber. Now, to the haircut. All right, guys, so to begin the haircut, like I always do, I like to comb the hair in place. This allows me to cut the hairs that I need to cut, and it just makes everything nice and neat. So I definitely recommend you combing the hair to your desired style before you start cutting the hair. Now, this is going to be a very basic a basic half drop fade. I'm going to set my first guideline. This is my top guideline with the one and a half. I'm using here the author octane with the detachable one and a half guard on that clipper. Important to know is that especially on Asian hair, uh, you want to leave the back towards the calic. You want to dip that down. One of the reasons why you want to do that is because uh, Asian hair tends to be very straight, thick, and they point out if you cut them too short. So if we go up too far into the calic, uh, that calic is going to be very difficult for the client to style and uh, the hair will be poking out. So not only is it, uh, it complements the style, but it also is functionality as well. The idea here is to set more of a triangle shape so that the hair kind of uh, flares out on an angle. While I'm at it, um, I'm gonna take my Babyliss uh, trimmer here and I'm going to set the tape up guideline. I'm just setting that up, cleaning it up so that when I come back with uh, my fading clippers, I can just, it, this is pretty much just saving time um, and allowing you to work much more efficient. With that said, I take my Wall Sterling 4, I open up the blade, which is uh, equivalent to uh, 0.5, which is a half, and I'm gonna set another Guideline. This guideline is going to be my bottom guideline. If we stop here, we see the one and a half guideline on top. And now I am setting the bottom guideline with the half. It is very important that when you set that bottom line, you want to be very consistent and following the shape of what you did with the top guideline. Um, once I got to the back, I just, like I said, uh, efficiency and uh, time consumption is, is something that I always keep in mind. So while I'm going at it, just taper it out, which is fairly easy. And now it's time to fade in that line. It's simple. We have a half and we have a one and a half. If we think about what number is in between the half and a one and a half, you got it. It's a number one. I'm gonna throw on the guard, the number one guard on that clipper, and I'm gonna start to work that line. Eight times out of 10, the number one guard will get rid of it. However, if you want to make it even smoother and you want that fade to look crisp and clean, do not worry if the number one guard does not erase that line because we have the half guard. I like to use the half guard as my backup guard. If for some reason the number one guard does not do the job, I always throw on the half guard. I don't like to fade with the half guard um, just because in my opinion, there's more room for error, but with the number one guard, it's a little bit more safe. Definitely recommend everyone out there, if you're a beginner or if you're just starting to get comfortable with your fades, stick with the number one guard. Now, once uh, I'm working this, this line here, I'm also playing with the lever a little bit. I don't wanna go up too far with the number one because obviously, we want that blend to be very consistent and I did a one and a half on top. So if I bring up the number one a little too much, then I'm just gonna end up creating another line. Okay now, so as you see, I threw on my half guard and I opened the lever just slightly, just, just slightly. 
and I'm flaking away on that line. Now the blend looks very good already. I can leave it like that if I want to. However, you want to make things very uh, fine in detail. The number one thing about haircuts for men are the details. The details is what makes a good haircut great. After we finish that blend and the fade is completely finished, now there's two ways I can go about it. I can take my comb and I can just clip over comb everything. Or what I decided to do here, I just took the number two guard and I'm just flicking away on that line. I know that the number two guard isn't going to completely, you know, get rid of that weight around the head. And I also know that once I finish with the number two guard, I'm going to take my shear and I'm going to do a scissor over comb. I decided to take the number two only because I wanted my scissor over comb technique to be a little bit on the easier side. So you can actually skip this step that I'm doing with the number two guard and you can jump right into the scissor over comb or clipper over comb. Whatever method and whatever technique you're comfortable doing. So this is when I come with the scissor over comb. All right, once I'm done with the fade and everything, the sides and back are completely finished, I go ahead and start shaping up and lining him up with my trimmers. Okay, so now the top, comb the hair in place. We're doing a comb over little pompadour action. Um, this is very simple and straightforward as you see me doing here. I'm gonna work from the front to the back and then side to side. Keep in mind, do not go too short on the on the calic. That calic could be the, the number one thing that can throw off the whole haircut. It needs length, especially with thick Asian hair that is very straight. Also remember that since we are doing a comb over, the side that has the part, that length needs to be the longest point of the haircut in order to fall over. I've cut the hair, I'm going to comb it to the side completely. What you want to see is a nice uh, gradual point. It kind of looks like a triangle. So the lo longest point of the hair is towards his eye and it kind of goes out into a triangle. You want it to be like that because once you comb the hair back, the hair will fall perfectly in line. Now check this out. The haircut is completely over. At this point, I'm just going to throw a little bit of product and start styling the hair. Recently I've been using a lot of Blumen products and that is exactly what I used in this case. Um, I used the pomade, which is the purple product. I uh, forgot the exact name of it, but I will drop a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up, share it with friends, and don't forget to check out these other similar haircut videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.